Hello, and welcome once again to What Nobody Told Me After 65. Today, we're talking about seniors and sex. Yes, there is no reason why you cannot continue to have and maintain a healthy sex life after 60, after 65, after 75 if you so desire. Just because you are over 60 doesn't mean you're not capable of having a satisfying sex life. Now, we waited to start to have sex. There's no reason why we can't wait to stop having sex. I'm getting information from a website, IntimateRose.com. You're welcome to go there. And also um, from the National Institute on Aging. The human body goes through changes. As we know, as we get older, we lose strength and flexibility. And that means you may need to take it easy, slow it down during sex or lovemaking. Hormone levels play a huge part in performance, as well as medications. They have medications that can decrease your desire you know, blood pressure medicines and what have you. And then they also have medications that will increase your desire. I know you heard about Viagra, uh, but that was mainly for men. Now, the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, has released a pill for women. But it has to be taken every day. Yes, a pill that has to be taken every day. It's used to treat low sex drive in women. And my only question is, why do we have to take a pill every day when men can take it on demand? Doesn't seem fair to me, but what do I know? Remember, anytime you change your habits, you change activities, you need to check with your doctor or your medical provider. We've heard those stories about people passing away during or before or after lovemaking. Don't let that happen to you, please. Now, um, there are some myths out there. Uh, Spanish fly. A Spanish fly actually refers to various aphrodisiacs, potions, tonics, lotions, and other supplements um, that are supposed to enhance your sexual appetite, your sexual drive. However, when I checked the history, this um, aphrodisiac, this Spanish fly as they call it, actually is a preparation that's made from blister beetles. Little bugs um, that on contact, they burned you. Now, in ancient times, men would feel like this was... Um, a pleasurable experience. They take these little bugs and put them on you and the burning effect mimicked um, arousal. Okay, I don't think it worked for women. However, that property from blister beetles is being used in medicinal for medicinal purposes Science has figured out ways to use it, but it is a burn agent and it's poisonous when used in large doses. So don't get all caught up thinking you're going to get some Spanish fly. That's a myth. Uh, some other things out there, scream cream, don't believe it, but it's $135 and something else called OMG, OMG stands for Oh My God Cream. I couldn't find out how much that costs, but all these things do is increase blood flow to that area, which heightens your desire for sex. That's all they are. Uh, $135, I think I'm going to keep my money in my pocket. The things that we do for pleasure. Listen, please be safe. Consult your medical advisor, your doctor before changing or uh, 
altering anything that you do uh, in terms of sex. Just don't do anything different. Intimacy is so much better now that we're older and we don't have anything to worry about. Ain't nobody trying to get pregnant. So intimacy is a beautiful thing. For more information, <laughs> you on sexuality and intimacy, you can go to the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. I'm going to put the website in the comment section. Also, Health in Aging Foundation. I got information from there. And Medline Plus for the Lib National Library of Medicine. I will also put their information there. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. I just appreciate you so much. Thank you for subscribing, for hitting that notification bell, for getting the thumbs up, and for sharing. And remember, you don't know what you don't know. Thanks for listening.